month 3 running a BMW M3. Too much power. No such thing I'm all for the purity of fine handling over prodigious power. Having logged plenty of flying time that the controls of 205 XS propose the purists 205 etc. Mercedes Sprinter Vans delicious balance. Real merrily ability at the limit etc. And for Bishop 1950s motorcycles I'm better now I'm acutely aware of the fun you can have coaxing pace from a vehicle that goes without the option of hammering between corners to keep up its average speed. It's underdog stuff, the reason why. In those mini versus sport galaxy scraps the Goodwood Revival dish so well, the crowd only deigns to put down its luncheon meat and get to its feet for a round the outside comeback from the mini. But there's a problem, everyone else. The UK road network is, as you'll know only too well if you live anywhere more built up than Orkney, a little clogged these days. The clear run at a decent stretch of road comes along about as often as a sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird. More often than not there's other traffic to negotiate, which is where the case for a hot handling but fire-power bereft car comes apart. Without the pace to slip past, all that cornering proficiency goes to waste as you trundle through Northamptonshire's most spectacular multi-apex complex at a stout 38 mph, all over the airized pace car the head like a second coat of paint. The M3 is not like this. With its turbo charged toward 406 pounds or from less than 2,000 rpm the F80 unlocks even sinuous roads, its prodigious acceleration peppering them with effortless and often hitherto unseen M3 specific overtaking opportunities. It's a useful attribute, whether you're hurrying home over hundreds of miles of a road or, in the interests of keeping the asthma arena blue paint clean, trying to avoid following in everyone else's filthy wet wake. Talking of wet. The first time the carbon ceramic brakes take on any real water, the reduction in braking performance is marked and, depending on your approach speed when you go for the pedal, potentially alarming. The numb pedal after a good jet wash you expect, but a couple of puddles can be enough to take almost all the power out of the otherwise extraordinary brakes, at least for a second or two.